He was, uh, you know, in today's modern sports, there's not too many guys like him. Arnie's the type of guy that transcends uh, uh, what the good things are in sports. He was always a classy guy, and people just related to him. You know, he had that that demeanor that uh, everybody could respond to, you know, and even Keel. You never heard any bad things about him. You know, even people who weren't Cubs fans just liked Ernie Banks. You know, he was just a classy guy. Like I said, he should be what uh, sports is today. There should be more people like him in the game. But, uh, classy guy, and like I said, I had to run over here today and make sure I got a picture for my wife, who's a big Cubs fan at home, and uh, her family. All right. And I'm an Ernie Banks fan. Maybe not a Cubs fan, but an Ernie Banks fan. Lifelong South Sider. Okay. I never met him in person, but he is the greatest Cub. Yeah. <laughs> you said he was never too high or too low. What no, does that too mean? low. What does that mean? Uh, he wasn't. He didn't think he was more than anybody else, and he he didn't put himself below anyone. Else. Right. Yeah. A little different than a lot of athletes. Right. Uh, today, right. <laughs> and it wasn't all about the money for him. Yeah. It was all about the game. Yeah. Hit over 500 home runs and uh, 14, 15 All Star games in a row. And the only MVP two years in a row. And, uh, I mean, just an awesome attitude from the guy. Never refused an autograph. Said he never worked a day in his life. So, I mean, he was having fun doing this. And, uh, you know, he's famous for what's on the statue. Let's play, too.